Hey everyone, this is Super Texture. Today I'm going to show you what you just saw. A free flash intro. Um, it's very easy to make and it's very simple if you have Adobe Flash. So I'm going to go ahead and go to that download at templatemonster.com. But first, you want to go up to support. You want to go. You want to go out to free sample templates and then go to download free web templates. And you should download free flash intro. And I already did that. So I have it on my desktop right here. And it will not be in there because I saved it in a different place. And I redid it. So go to when you unextract the folder, go to sources, flash, and it should be in that flash folder if you haven't used it. So it's not there for me, so I'm just going to go ahead and open up Adobe Flash. And it should be in my recent projects. Takes a little longer than the fireworks one, but whatever. Okay. So there is intro dot well that was a little weird. So I'm gonna open up intro, which I just made and it's in a flash. So I'm gonna open that up. Okay, so here is mine. Uh oh click next to that. Okay, so here is mine and it's all edited you can just drag that across and I've edited it and all you have to do I'm not gonna do that but all you have to do is but in the um, editing toolbox you go over to the top cursor the selection tool and you just go and double click on the text actually a few times and you just edit the text that's all you basically do and you know that's what I did and you just go all the way across and I wrote all my text tech videos done the right way seems a little cheesy but you know what I had to make something up so you can go all the way across that and then over here uh, at the end chose my logo super texture free tutorials um, I actually need to edit some of this I spelled tutorials wrong didn't I okay free tutorials uh, I guess that's what a lot of people pick. So, I wouldn't be surprised if I saw another person with that. So, it already changed that. That's pretty amazing. Uh, when you change the beginning and end, it, it changes both. So, if you change the beginning title, it'll change the end. So, that's pretty cool. So, you don't want to, you can click save, but click export. It's a better thing to do. So I'm going to go to export in file, go to export movie. I'm going to name it intro 2 since I did the first one wrong. And I'm put in my Camtasia Studio uh, folder because I'm going to be using it in Camtasia Studio because I'm recording it, recording it in this. So.
intro two and save. Uh, this is all okay. Okay. And exporting AVI movie. Uh, it takes a little bit of time. Well, just a little bit. And so, while that's waiting. Uh, here, let me go to Camtasia Studio, and if you export that AVI movie, you can open it up in Windows, and you're going to think, Adobe doesn't open up in Win Windows or Microsoft, stuff like that, Windows Movie Maker, so if you open up Windows Movie Maker, should be here, oh, there it is. Going kind of slow because of Camtasia. Uh, sorry about this, guys. Should stop in just a second. Oh, finally. Gosh, sometimes Camtasia Studio just makes me mad. Okay, I'm gonna go to start Windows Movie Maker. And you know, using AVI Movie is the best way, saving it as AVI is the best way, and stuff like that. So, if I could speed this up, that would be great. Oh, there we go. And there's my intro. And that was not my new intro since I changed it. But whatever. So, there it is. So, this is actually part of the real video. I guess that other part was just part of keepsake. For me. And you drag this into your video. And it works just like that. It, the resolution will be kind of bad, but that doesn't that doesn't necessarily matter. So come on, exp exporter. Flash has always been kind of slow for me. It has been really slow if you uh, use. Uh, a thing like that and you know if you're a tech show guy like me you would use Camtasia Studio and you'd import a Camtasia Studio and it's just about done okay so we're gonna go into Camtasia Studio and there's my intro that's my old intro so I want to cut that out Move from timeline, and I'm gonna go to import media. Go to intro two. Just drag that in, and you should be good. And I hope you guys like this video, and subscribe to my videos. And I hope this will give you more knowledge on how to make a flash video with Adobe Flash CS3. Okay, see you, YouTube.